Hi, my name is Wendy Crispell. I'm a wine and cheese expert in New York City, and we're aboard Classic Harbor Lines Yacht Manhattan in Chelsea Pier. And on this rainy day, we're going to be talking about a grape and cheese platter. Uh, the most important thing when making a grape and cheese platter is different textures and different styles of cheeses. You don't want to use more than five because you will overwhelm people's palates. So do a nice selection. Here I have some St. Moray goat cheese from the Loire Valley. I have some Spanish uh, Manchego sheep's milk cheese. I also have a wash drying cow's milk cheese called Oma, um, made by the Van Trapp family in Vermont. Um, also we have some figs. And in the center we have our fruit, a green grape seedless and red grape seedless. You can add some texture and some design. So I like to make different shapes from the cheeses and also arrange them in different styles on the sides. You have some fig and almond bread uh, cake to really kick it up a little bit. And you can serve it with a variety of different jams. Now, I suggest uh, serving two wines with a grape and cheese platter. You can have a light fruity red and also a medium bodied white. Um, so this is Cabernet Franc. And it's from New York State. I like to use local wines and cheeses whenever possible. So I'm Wendy Crispell, and this is how you make a grape and cheese platter. Thank you.